All right, folks, um, I was going to do a video on all these different commercials and show you the same common denominator, which is another race of beings being birthed within the human race. That's what's the common denominator in all the commercials I was going to put together, but something else has come up. So I think we should look at this before I do that video. Uh, I can do the other video very quickly because I've already done videos on all the commercials, breaking them down, and I'll just do a conglomeration. It'll be real easy. I want to show you all something very fascinating. Um, the world, the word explosion um, conference 2016, I know it says August 9th through the 14th. This is part of uh, an ecumenical uh, movement called the gathering and here's who these guys are it's this group of preachers and here they are notice they're in a they, have y'all ever seen how on uh, in movies they'll have the stars stand in the shape of a triangle this is a backwards triangle see it's going like upside down uh, what's really fascinating about these guys is these are all these mainstream preachers okay it says the gathering. Well, the letter A is obviously not an A. It's a pyramid with the sun. And that means sun worshippers, which are Satanists, Luciferians. And they're posing as Christians. Um, now, by the way, Jesus didn't come to bring peace but division. He didn't come to unite religions. He came to divide. There's only one way to Christ, and by the way, I've told you this, uh, to the Father, and that's through Christ. And if you don't turn things upside down, you'll never see it. Impossible. Unless you turn everything upside down, you'll, you'll never see the kingdom of heaven. Um, there's, a, there's a text called the Acts of Peter, verse uh, 37, 38, and 39. I've done videos on it. You really should read it. Just like Peter, who was crucified upside down, Jesus told Peter, Peter, I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And Peter was crucified upside down. And then Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church. The word rock is Petra. And Jesus is that Petra of offense. And the word offense means literally a bent sapling snare trap that turns everything upside down. So when you see this right here, and you see the gathering. And this is an ecumenical council that happens to be kicking off at the same time the Pope is coming out with this, you know, um, movement for a one world religion where everybody comes together. You know that the, you know, we're at the door. Watch this. Let me show you something. This is their thing. It says hope is here. Well, if you turn that upside down, it's the star Satan. It says the gathering is the body of Christ coming together one day to unite across racial, denominational, and generational lines, lifting up the name of Jesus and taking responsibility for the condition of our nation. No personality, denomination, or organization will be promoted. Well, you know, a lot of people will say, oh, no, it's just they're trying to get everybody together. No, this is a one world religion movement. And I want to show you what's part of their movement. I'm going to play a video from these guys. Um, we're going to look at, um, let me, let me see here. We're going to look at a video right here. And there's some stuff in here that is absolutely mind-bending. So stay with me. And then we're going to have to go do a little breakdown on the Arch of Bell, Ball, you know, Belsibob, is coming to New York now. It was in London. I did videos on it. But you might need a little refresher course because get ready. Okay. Let's play this video and let's watch it.
once you've experienced the love of Jesus, you're going to have to go into the street once in a while. You might have to go love somebody who nobody else is loving. You might have to get up when nobody else is getting up and pray for people others have forgotten. Too often we think of a building. We think of something separate from ourselves. We put it on another outside of ourselves. But the church is you and I. You are being raised up to go to the top and shift the culture back to the kingdom of God. Well, I can't see how it's ever going. Well, if you believe it, you don't need to see it. Well, if I can see it, then I can believe it. No, Jesus said, if you believe, then you'll see. You'll never get beyond faith. It's from faith to faith. The enemy loves to come into your mind and accuse you and make you doubt your citizenship in the kingdom of God. But you got to talk trash back to the devil and say, you are a liar. God is not through with me yet. Because he who began a good work in me shall be faithful to complete it. God's invitation is for an intimate relationship with him, one that defies any human relationship, so that you personally, whatever you've done or haven't done, God says to you, I want to invite you to know me. Jesus said repeatedly, you are the light of the world. What do lights do? They shine. They distinguish themselves. What is amidst the dark sky? Stars. They distinguish themselves among the darkness. Church, we got to come up higher. You were not born to stay at a level of discouragement, at a level of condemnation. You were not born to be a victim. You were born to be a victor. You were called to come up higher. And they're crowning the, I'm sorry, my program got cut off. And they're crowning the empire, 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 state building upside down. They're crowning Satan's kingdom is what they're doing. And I'm going to show you how they're crowning Satan's kingdom. Um, let me show you something. Let's take the next video and let's just watch them both. This is the same guys um let me just make sure i get the the right one i just want to make sure i here we go let me show you this one now we're going to play both these and then we're going to go through these and then we're going to end up at the arch of bell that's coming at the same time these guys are having their ecumenical council to get everybody together at the same time the pope is making a push for one world religion, all denominations coming together in the interest of peace. That's funny. Jesus said, I didn't come to bring, bring peace. I came to bring division. And look at what they're posing as the body of Christ, the body of Christ. Well, I'm going to show you that if these guys were the body of Christ, how come they don't know the truth? Because Jesus is the truth. Or how come they're putting a satanic agenda in front of everybody's face in a cryptic way and i'll show that to you in just a moment let's watch this video now to unite hmm.
this is the gathering. What's really, really fascinating to me is, is they've literally got Satan's logo on it with the letter A being a pyramid and a sun. That is Satan's logo. I mean, that's it. The pyramid and the circle, that is Satan's logo. Let me just show you very quickly. So, you know, let's do this together. Okay, all seen. Let's see. Google images. All seen. I. You see that? There you go. So, whenever you see a pyramid and a circle and whatever its form or format is, that is Satan. That is, that's his identity. So. They literally have their logo on this whole thing right there. The gathering, there it is. Now, because the circle's not in the middle, it doesn't matter because every single church that they identified as, as they built the churches, every single one of them had the pyramid with the circle on it every single one right there see right here well they'll finish it well of course they moved it right before they finished it there you go see the the pyramid with the circle every single church in their little video has one and at the end of the video, when they put the gathering right there, that is Satan's logo. So, there's a lot more going on here than you think. This is showing a nuclear strike. Babylon has fallen, has, has been destroyed in one hour. In one hour has her destruction come. Um, let's take a look at some stuff, though. Let's... Let's dig a little deeper. Let, let me just show you what's going on. Do y'all remember back when the Arch of Palmyra, or the Arch of Baal, was put up in Trafalgar Square, um, Trafalgar Square in London? Yeah. Okay. Well, it was at the same time the Beltane Festival was going on. Y'all remember that? Uh, the Beltane Festival is the Beltane Fire Festival, and it's... Uh, pagan a pagan festival and requires human sacrifice i'll just give you a little reminder on the calendar it happened to be there it is the 19th 20th, 21st and 22nd and it the last day was you know what it actually ends uh the beltane festival ends on the first of may when they crown the may queen you know like the maypole and and all that DNA stuff in phallic symbol. Well, Passover was the 22nd during the Beltane Festival, the Fire Festival. Okay, well, now, you know, that's when the Arch of Palmyra was, or the Arch of Baal, Arch of the Devil, was up in London. Well, now you have the Arch of Palmyra, the Arch of Baal, Arch of the Devil, coming to New York, finally. And it's coming on the 19th. Let me show you what's on the 19th. Um, it's called the Maybon Festival, which is the in-gathering. It's the pagan festival of in-gathering. Well, that's interesting because didn't these guys call themselves the gathering? Well, that's funny because there's a pagan festival called the in-gathering, which is... Maybon, which is like a witchcraft holiday going on at the same exact time as the alleged gathering, which is supposed to be for Christianity, is, is posing as Christianity. Um, it's really fascinating because on the 23rd is, you know, the day of assembly. There's, there's Jewish holidays that are overlapping all these things at the same time. It's really fascinating. September 11th, is Yom Kippur. 9-11 is Yom Kippur. Excuse me. 
let me just turn that deal off. So we have a lot of overlapping, very interesting things going on. But let's look at the deeper, more sinister and obvious meaning of all of this. At the end of the day, this is about one thing and one thing only. Satan's race, Lucifer's race, taking over God's children. That's it. That's what it's all about, the whole deal. Let me give you a, let me list, let you listen to one of, you know, Satan's children. God have mercy. I don't dislike Lady Gaga because she's a child, uh, you know, of Lucifer. I mean, I feel sorry for her. You know, she actually, I've, I've heard her talk. She's actually pretty funny sometimes. But God have mercy on her. She's just a child of the world. Anyone that's a child of the world is just a child of the devil. Unless you've been born from above, you are still a child of the devil. The whole world is children of the devil until you're born again. Until you're born again, you're a child of the devil. That's why you have to be born again. Okay, so let's just listen to what she has to say real quick. But, um, I, yes, there's all sorts of people all over the world with so many different views, but uh, most importantly, I think it's about bringing people together, and, and the performance we did last night at the Grammys was, and, uh, and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth, uh, yeah. it's meant to signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race, and it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity yeah, that yeah. bears no... Um, uh, prejudice against anyone. So um, that's really the thing myself. She looks possessed. God bless her heart, man. It's sad. A race within a race. Birthing a new race within the race of humanity. See the serpent, see the woman. Race within a race. Wheat and weeds. Sheep and goats, seed of the serpent, seed of the woman. Oh, a race within a race. Oh. The performance we did last night at the Grammys was, and uh, and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth. Uh, yeah. It's meant to signify a an artistic statement of birthing a new race, and it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity. Yeah. That right there. Now. Let's just go look at some stuff. Let me re-educate you in case you didn't happen to see the Arch of Palmyra going up in London and what all this really stands for. So let me show you, let me let me give you a little bit of history, okay? Do y'all know what the Washington Arch is? Y'all know where the Washington Arch is uh, right here on your screen, yeah? Um, do y'all know where the Washington Arch was modeled after? Do y'all know where it even came from or what it's modeled after? Um, the Washington Arch was modeled after the Arch de Triomphe. You know, the one in France, right? Well, do you know where the Arch de Triomphe was modeled after? It was modeled after the Arch of Titus. So this arch right here in Manhattan called the Arch of Washington was modeled after the Arch of Titus. Do y'all know who Titus is? Titus is a Roman emperor. Let me show you who he is real quick. There he is. Okay. Well, Titus, he destroyed the temple in Jerusalem, the second temple. He was a Roman emperor, and he destroyed the second temple on 9-11. Well, see, here it is. In 70... A.D., he besieged and captured Jerusalem and destroyed the city, look, and the second temple. For this achievement, Titus was awarded a triumph, like the Arch of Triomphe, the one in France. It's called the Arch of Titus. Commemorates his victory to this day. And so if you, so if you click on the Arch of Titus, there's the Arch of Titus right there. See it? And it talks about, you know, the siege of Jerusalem. And that, and he was given this as a victory. Showing the spoils taken from Jerusalem. Okay. 
So now I gave you some history. So the arch that's in New York called the Arch of Washington. Oh, by the way, the arch that was given to um, Titus that commemorates his victory, it's called the Apotheosis of Titus. Y'all know what Apotheosis means? Apotheosis means man becoming a god. So this arch right here, Arch of Triumph, it is called the Apotheosis because he was elevated to deity because of it. Man becoming God. Well, oddly enough, the Arch of Washington right here in New York, which is modeled after the Arch of Titus, Washington himself was given in the rotunda of the Capitol building an apotheosis also. Let me show you. So here is the apotheosis of Washington. When you walk into the Capitol building and you look up at the rotundum, look what it says, e pluribus unum, many from one. Okay, so there's Washington right here. Same right here. Okay, looking down from the top with like deity status, but I want you to look at, I want you to look at the banner in relation to Washington. Let me show you something. See how he's one way and they're upside down? See, one, one's one got to be upside down. If he's right side up, then they're upside down. E pluribus unum, many out of one. Okay, so the arch that's in Manhattan is actually modeled after the Arch of Titus. It's also the Arch of Bell. Same model. Arch. It's modeled after the same thing. So there's already really an arch that represents the devil in downtown Manhattan. And let me show it to you. Let me show you an actual image of that arch. There it is in picture C5. Well, on this arch right here, do you know what it says on this arch where you can see the Twin Towers? By the way, guess guess who bought all that property right there? Well, not even bought it. They bought it, but they served eminent domain on it. Go look it up. The Rockefellers. They served eminent domain on, I think, over 300 businesses. And they took the land in this area and then they built the Twin Towers on it, the Rockefellers. The same Rockefellers that make the U.S. currency. Well, I want you to look at the arch for a second. Do you know what it says on this arch? Does anybody know what Exitus Octa Probat means? Exitus Octa Probat. Let me show you, just, just to prove my point. Okay, there it is. There's Exitus Octa Probat. I just proved it. Let me show you what Exitus Octa Probat means. Okay. There's Exitus Octa Probat. It means the outcome justifies the deed. Well, what does that mean? Why would they have the outcome justifies the deed? on the Arch of Washington, well, pay attention. When you look through this arch that the Rockefellers were instrumental in making sure that the Twin Towers were dead center of that arch, I mean, the Rockefellers made sure those buildings were the dead center of the arch. They made sure. They even served eminent domain to do it. And they bought all the land and they built the Twin Towers. Well, guess who makes a U.S. currency? The Rockefellers. So they print the money. So when they printed an image of the Twin Towers right here in picture C4, burning under an archway, you see it? See the Twin Towers? Burning under the arch of Washington, oh my God. They knew what they were doing because they're Luciferians 
and they're being guided by the spirit of Lucifer. And because Lucifer is a spirit, that's why you got to get a new spirit. Because if you don't get a new spirit and you're not born of the Holy Spirit, you're a child of the devil. I got born again in 2002 in an alley behind the St. Anthony Hotel. Now, you see this identical representation of the U.S. currency? Oh my gosh, the same guys are responsible for both. Oh, that's probably possible. If you're psychotically delusional. So... Let me take this image of the U.S. currency and let me slide it right on top of this. Let's have a look. Ready? Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. So you're telling me, Jonathan, that the guys that made the currency planned to have an image of the bombing of the Twin Towers? under the arch of Washington, which is the apotheosis, man becoming a god. Yes, that's correct. Because this is about one thing and one thing only, and I'll tell you again, for the 10,000th time. In the world with so many different views, but uh, most importantly, I think it's about bringing people together. And, and the performance we did last night at the Grammys was, and, uh, and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth, uh, yeah. it's meant to signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race. And it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity. A race within the race of humanity. So there's the two races. Wow, one and the other, right under the apotheosis. Well, now that the new race is here and it's birthing, we don't need both of them. Let me show you what they did they burned them down as a blood sacrifice under the arch oh my gosh so you could watch everybody die right through the arch of the devil because these guys are sick but they're good the devil pays attention to the details so they had their little fire burning killing spree with all kinds of people jumping to their deaths see see it oh my gosh and then what did they put up in its place because the two dna's and let me show you what dna markers look like okay and by the way the way i'm speaking i'm mocking them not you i'm mocking them you see those? Those are DNA markers. Those are DNA markers. I took them off a DNA marker chart. Dave cut them out and put them in there for you. You see? Those are actual DNA markers. Do they look familiar? They look just like the Twin Towers, don't they? Oh my gosh. It's because they are. I'm being really facetious because it's so redundantly obvious at this point that all you little minions of Satan, your day's coming. I guarantee it. And I'm not mad at you. I feel sorry for you. It's sad. But your day of reckoning is here. And what looks like your greatest victory is your greatest defeat. So, they destroyed the Twin Towers with a big blood sacrifice under the Arch of Bell, Titus, a.k.a. Washington. And they killed all these people to signify the new race because you have, you have to kill a bunch of people to get your new race in. And here's an image on C3 of the two DNAs coming together into one DNA. So what we did was we took DNA strands and we showed them on each building come together to form a new DNA. By the way, there's also these swords up here, which represent Islamic Jihad, by the way, on the Arch of Washington. And so here's the two DNAs becoming one. And then they built in its place. What did they build? Where they built? What did they build there? What took the place of the Twin Towers? <gasps> the One World Freedom Tower. And what did Mr. Barack... Hussein, Obama, lightning from heaven. What did he sign on it? We remember 
we rebuild, we come back stronger. Who's we? Satan and his demons. See the One World Freedom Tower? So you get rid of these two. The two DNAs are gone. The two have become one. And you build in its place the One World Freedom Tower. See it? There it is. Hmm? Well, it gets better. It always gets better. Because these guys pay attention to details. Well, <laughs> let's see some cryptic stuff did y'all see the video i did you know two years ago of the hundred dollar bill nuclear disaster they made a new hundred dollar bill well let me show you something let me give you an image of the hundred dollar bill that is those are buildings in new york there's controls coming down this is water coming in between the buildings and New York is being destroyed. By the way, I put this in a program that broke down the layers of ink, and it shows like a nuclear wind destroying it. By the way, in 2008, I prophesied, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you, and out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Waters high as the walls of Jerusalem will cover the city by the sea, and great shall be the destruction of that city. It's New York. That's part of the utterance. You see, you see New York right there? See the buildings? See the water coming through in between the buildings? Well, let me show you something just to make a point. Okay. And by the way, for my audience, for those that follow this channel, I'm not, I'm not being rude to you. I'm just making a point. It's so ridiculously obvious. For those that want to stand against it, Good luck. So, here is what an image might look like of water blasting through the city and coming through the arch right there. Because we cut out the $100 bill and we put it under the arch like that. Just to give you a visual representation. Well, let me show you a movie that came out. 2012. You know, everybody thought the world would end in 2012. Mind calendar stuff. Remember? Let me show you a scene from 2012. Okay. Yeah. It's probably a color. Probably just a big coincidence. Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> the outcome justifies the deed. Exitus octa probat. The outcome is a one-world religion, a one-world government, and a one-world race of beings. That's what this is all about. So they're saying the outcome to get what they wanted to do, Lucifer was a rebel and wanted his own kingdom. He got it. He got it. But they're saying the outcome, getting his own kingdom, justifies the deed, which was the garden. Serpent breeding with Eve. That's why the videos I show you, like the whole, you know, stadium at the Olympics is a giant vagina. I mean, why would it be a giant vagina? I mean, why would Giselle be walking up to the front in, in a perfect vesica Pisces? I mean, why is the, the altar of St. Peter in the Vatican, a dead sheep with its tongue sticking out. How come when you turn it upside down, it's a big vagina again? The outcome justifies the deed. Let me show you a side-by-side -side image of the bill right here. See the bill? And here's a scene from the movie. NASA, we got a problem. Am I making my point? <laughs> it's like, I'm not even close to done. So, yeah. So, let me show you what else is going on. They're bringing the Arch of Baal. By the way, if you don't know what the Arch of Baal is and you haven't done your homework. Well, the archway is the entrance into the Temple of Baal. That's you got to go through the arch to go into the temple. And in the Temple of Baal, 
let me see if I can give you a little imagery of what they did. I think I should have one maybe in this section of stuff. Maybe not. But it's not hard to find. I'll, I can find it very quickly. What they do is they sacrifice children of blood sacrifice. They kill babies and they throw them into the fire of blood sacrifice. Just like the Arch of Washington, a.k.a. Arch of Titus, a.k.a. Arch of Baal. Same thing. That's why the Twin Towers was a sacrifice. This $20 bill is this. You see this? You see this? This is this. You see it? Yes. So, let me show you what's going on with our nifty little group of guys. These guys. Victory, they're claiming victory, world victory, that the new empire is getting crowned. This is Satan's ridiculous BS Christianity. Yeah. It's a bunch of fluff, phonies, fakes. Well, let me show you something interesting about this video when you play it. I went ahead and I had, Dave and I broke down some stuff and I had a very supernatural thing happen while, while we were doing this. So, let me show you what happened. I start playing this video. Let me, let me, uh, by the way, it's on set, this is on September 21st, which happens to coincide with the Arch of Baal being up. So they're having their little gathering with their little satanic symbol right here on the 21st during the festival of Maybon, which is the ingathering, pagan feast of ingathering. See right there, pagan feast of ingathering. Let me see if I can enlarge it. There it is. Maybon, September 19th through the 22nd, the pagan feast of ingathering, human sacrifice. Yay. <laughs> what are these guys called? The Gathering. What's the telltale sign? They're a bunch of Luciferians that don't even know it. The Triangle with the Sun. So, I'm going to start. I'm dropping windows so it'll be easier for me to navigate. By the way, let me show you some churches real quick. So you know who's running them. Oh, wow. Triangle, Circle, All-Seeing Eye. All seen eye. Oh my gosh. It's a common theme in churches. There's a big all seeing eye. Yeah. Sure. Because Satan runs them. True Christianity, you're not going to find in one of those buildings, I don't think. Probably very, very hard. Okay, so now let's get back to what's going on with the gathering. They want to unite all these different denominations. Denominations are absurd. Either you've been turned upside down or you haven't. And these guys are telegraphing that they are Satan's church. And the way they're telegraphing that is by their little their little party um, video right here. Let's watch just shortly. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna try and freeze it on this one frame. It's going to be hard, but maybe I can do it. I've already isolated it, and I'm going to show it to you, but I sure would like to be able to freeze it. Got it. You see this right here? It, they're saying, Our Father in Heaven. Look, what do you see here? One, two, three upside down crosses. <gasps> And that, that's in there for a reason. So they're saying, our Father in Heaven. Well, who's their daddy? Satan's church is the upside down cross. That's Satan's church. Right there. They just identified themselves in this video. That's why they put this. By the way, this is also called the double cross. You see it? Right in the middle? Go look it up. Satan's church. You know what? I'll look it up for you. Okay, so I typed into Google Satanic Double, and look what came up. I didn't even have to finish it. See, there's my Google search, Satanic Double. What did it bring up? Leviathan Cross. 
double cross. Oh, look right there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. There's some guy that does some TV program. He's got that tattooed on his neck. Uh huh. It is satanic double cross right there. See it? You see it? Satanic double cross. And you can look around and see how it's associated with all kinds of satanic stuff. Okay, so satanic double cross. There you go. Now, now that we've established that as a fact, let's go back and catch our little video. Oh my gosh, look, they have the satanic double cross and two more on the sides. Does that remind you of, does that remind you of something? Let me see if I got it in here. Let me, uh, let me refresh. There's a lot of stuff in this link, by the way, guys. Just sit tight. Hmm. How about if you were to turn that scene upside down right there? Let me show you what the Bible says. Woe unto them, woe to those who go to great depths to hide their plans from the Lord, who do their works in darkness. And think, who sees us? Who will know? You turn things what? What? You turn things what? Upside down. As if the potter were thought to be like the clay. Shall what is formed say to the one who formed it, you did not make me? Can the pot say to the potter, you know nothing? So let's go back and let's look again. There's the three crosses at Calvary that I had Dave turn upside down for you so I could show him, so I could take uh, the little pastor's video, the gathering, the wonderful guys that want to talk about Yeshua. Oh, wow, look at that. Our Father. So then it goes into Our Father. So they start, look, with the double cross, which is, absolutely the satanic cross and then they got the two crosses on the side it's like the cross of calvary because they are literally crowning their kingdom in this video now i got a miracle I, I am required to tell you 100 percent truth that was a requirement the night i got saved i can only speak 100 percent truth if i say anything that's not true if the burden is too great and the lord deals with me severely and so I try not to fluff anything up. I try not to exaggerate. I will tell you the 100% truth. Here you go. Let me show you what happened. Our, they said, so our Father in Heaven. What's, what, who are they saying our Father is? The devil. Now it says, hallowed be thy name. And I saw that building. Now, this is a testimony I'm going to give you. I was on the phone with Dave the Wave, and I'm like, Dave, man, sums up. That building right there, what is that building? And I heard clear as a bell, it's the largest temple of Shiva in the world. I was like, wow, that's weird. I just heard clear as a bell inside me. That's the largest temple of Shiva in the world. So I typed into Google the largest temple of Shiva in the world. See, look, there's my search. So I, I'm on the phone with Dave, and I typed in world's biggest temple of Shiva. Look, and oh my gosh, look what came up. This building right here. Well, let's look and see. Oh, wow. So they're saying our father. Let's, let's one more time. I want to make sure I got this. Okay, there's the upside down crosses. Our Father in heaven, so they're talking about Satan. Hallowed be thy name. And the next picture they show you is the largest temple of Shiva? That's not Christianity, folks. Um, in the world, yeah, there it is. So let's, let's look at that video. There it is. See it? See, look at it. You see right here? 
Look right here. Look at the steps. Look right here. See, I think these are these elephants. Watch. See them right there? Right there? I freaked out when I was on the phone with Dave. I was like, Dave, the Lord just told me to look up the largest temple of Shiva. And boom, right then and there it popped up. Because he wanted me to show you all this. Let me show you what's going on. So they're saying, hallowed be thy name. And they're talking about freaking Shiva. <laughs> they turn everything upside down. Oh, and now it's the Empire State Building. Let me show you something really crazy. Watch this. Y'all remember when, when uh, New York had a very exciting little presentation for everybody one night on the empire state building they did a really lovely <laughs> display of shiva kali whatever see it oh my gosh the destroyer see there you go what's what's interesting is when dave was typing his his search he wrote Empire State, and it said Building Shiva. That it finished the search for, and we were both freaking out. I was like, check that out. So there's that tongue sticking out. Remember your emojis? Winky, wink, wink. Stick the tongue out. Who Against whom do you sport yourself and stick out your tongue? Uh, there it is. See, Empire State Building, Shiva. Let's go back now. Let's go back to the video. There you go. So they went straight from the largest temple of Shiva in the world to the Empire State Building, thy kingdom come. They're talking about Shiva, Satan, on earth, uh, as it is in heaven, and everything's upside down. Don't you think spirit? Okay, so then here's the list of the lineup of all the guys that call themselves Christian that are really working for Lucifer, and they look like, they look like they're real... The deal, the real deal. No, they're not the real deal. This is the real deal right here. This is the real deal right here, people. They're going to put, let, let, let me show you what happened to this Washington Square archway. This is what it used to look like where, you know, that AKA apotheosis of Washington. This used to be the fountain right here. It was in the shape of a, uh, the Sefer um, plate. Um, when they when when they left um, the Seder plate, I mean, when they left um, when the Israelites left Egypt, this is called the Seder plate, and they would have different things in each little part of this bowl. Now, here's an actual you know image of the Seder plate right here, and here's the fountain right here. So this is an actual plate right here, a Seder plate, Jewish Seder plate. And that's what the fountain was in, you know, modeled after, but no one really knew it. Well, let me show you what they changed it to. They moved this entire fountain and everybody freaked out in New York. Oh, why are you spending all this money to move the fountain? Because they, had, they wanted to do something with it. So they moved the fountain and they, they changed it. And now the fountain is like in direct line of the archway. And you see right there, this is a missile targeting system over here on the right. You see the missile targeting system? Does it look the same as that? Well, it sure does. Um, it's also something else. Did y'all know that Obama's mom was in a cult called Sabud? from Indonesia, and so was Loretta Fuddy. Oh, the one in seven billion people that signed Obama's birth certificate, the long form. After 11 months previously, she was not anywhere near Hawaii, but all of a sudden, she was appointed as director of health for the entire state of Hawaii. How perfect. And she signed Obama's long form birth certificate, and she was in the same cult in Indonesia as Obama's mom. Probably just a coincidence. And that cult is called Sabud, uh, the cult of Sabud, which is the rising sun. Oh my gosh, there's an image of the Sabud logo. See, right there? Kind of looks like the same targeting system. Uh, wow, the cult of Sabud is the cult of the 
rising sun. Loretta Fuddy mysteriously died in a plane wreck, and some cameraman had the snap to have his camera on while the plane was hitting the water so they could show you on TV. Look, see, it really wrecked in the water, and she really died, even though we never saw her body. Um, let me show you Obama's logo. Wasn't Obama's logo the rising sun? Wow. This is a hell of a lot of coincidences, isn't it? Yeah. Let me show you what else that new fountain looks like. So there's the fountain, right? See it? You see the new fountain right there? Well, let's click on it and let's have a closer look. One, two, three. Let's see. Let's start right here. This one's easy to remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight of these benches. But they really connect a section. See that section? And then there's that section. And then there's that section. And they're really defining sections. And let me show you what those are. Did you know the pagans have their wheel of pagan occult holidays that they celebrate? Like Mabon, which is coming up right now in Gathering. And so here you go. And remember the Beltane Festival? So here is the pagan wheel in which they celebrate all their, you know, pagan festivals with the satanic star right in the middle. There it is. And here their little, you know, Samin, which is Halloween. Y'all may, y'all call it Halloween. It's called Samin Yule Imbo Beltane Litha. Maybon. We're, we're in the Maybon thing right now, September 19th through 20th. Have a little look at that. Now, let's go back and look at let's go back and look at the whole thing again one more time. Oh my gosh. That is a coincidence. The Washington Square Arch Fountain is broken up into sections that is identical as the pagan wheel of the year. And there happens to be a big kingdom come party group of speakers from the word explosion. And these guys are all meeting during Maybon. And it's called the gathering. And their logo is a triangle with the sun. And the Pope happens to be trying to bring together the one world religion. Right now, we're on the verge of World War III, and Hillary Clinton's got a logo that's a triangle, and it's here, and one's right, uh, and the, the two, le the two uh, vertical bars for the letter H are the twin towers, one right side up and one upside down, and it's probably just a coincidence, don't you think? Or they're getting ready to destroy everything. Uh, let me show you a little... Newsweek thing with Obama on it. Oh, well. Probably just a coincidence. There's Barack Obama on Newsweek, the god of all things. Ooh. Like, uh, yeah. Like, uh, Shiva. Cali usually is, you know, different. But anyway, very, very interesting, huh? Um, yeah. Probably just coincidence, right? that they scroll the Lord's Prayer over, obviously, a satanic cross. And, and then it said, Hallowed be thy name, right over a temple of Shiva. And then they switched right to the Empire State Building, and which had Shiva on it with the tongue sticking out. And they just crowned it with victory. And during that same commercial, they showed the London Bridge upside down while someone when, was speaking. Um, the London Bridge, by the way, is called the Tower Bridge. Let me show you the logo for that, okay? Just, you know, probably just another coincidence. <laughs> Let me show you the, the logo. Do you see the twin towers there connected by that? Uh, let me show you the logo for the Tower Bridge. 
that was in their little thing upside down for the gathering. Let me let me show you twin liquors first. See twin? See the letter W? Is that a W or is that two V's? And they're using the two V's to convey the meaning of twins. Kind of like you and me and everybody else. We have our own evil twin inside of us. Wow. Well, let's look at the Tower Bridge. Are they doing the same thing? You see the letter V and the letter V? See the letter V? Let's look at it in full size. Well, it sure looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, when you can read Satan's language, it's easy to read once you know how to do it. It's a language. And it's on everything. Let me show you what's about to happen. Their little video where, you know, they have, uh, uh, let's see, the gathering. As we go back through here. They're going to have lightning come down from heaven. Does anyone know what lightning from heaven? A rock. The word Barak means lightning. Go look it up in your Strong's Concordance. And from the heavens, uh, go listen to P.P. P. Simmons, Obama. So here's lightning coming down from heaven. Bam. And burning up the church. I, suppose, I think they're trying to tell you that there, it's like catching fire, like it's a revival. No. This is Satan showing what he's going to do to everybody. It's a plea for everyone to unite. Jesus said, I didn't come to bring peace. I came to bring division. Let's watch this for a minute. Turn it down. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, is that a bunch of churches getting together or is that a nuclear strike? <laughs> well, let's look at the source. Who's the source? The source is the gathering guys, you know, the guys with the pyramid logo, those guys. It's not good people. So let's just look one more time. Yeah, I don't think any of this is good. Look. Let's just go back a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I just, you know, it's like, uh, um. anyway, so, um, I hopefully, I, I hope y'all understand, um, from the audience that comes here. God bless you guys. I mean that. Thank you for the kind comments. I did this in a way to, you know, for the, the people that are crazy enough to come argue with this, with all this data. It's like, oh, okay, sure, sure. Oh, okay. Good for you, you know? Yeah, all right. Probably nothing. Probably absolutely nothing, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, you know what's coming, guys. I mean, all you got to do is look at what's going on. Um, it's a no-brainer. And, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not being facetious. I'm... I'm, I'm being serious. It's a no-brainer. It doesn't, it doesn't require intellectual thought. Either you know you know what's up or you don't. And that's all there is to it. And um, they are, you know, here, here you go. Here's, a, here's an example of what they're doing. Um, Psalm 106 they served their idols and were enslaved by them. They sacrificed to demons, their own sons and daughters, shedding innocent blood. The blood of their own sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to idols of Canaan, 
desecrating the land with bloodshed. No different. Exitus octa probat. The outcome justifies a deed. And so these people are some sick, sick, sick puppies. And uh, the time of destruction is coming. It doesn't mean it's got to happen, you know, during these festivals. I, I see how people get weirded out. And they think, oh, you said it. No. Um, but it's coming, no matter what. It's coming. Let me, I just want to show you on that Arch of Washington itself. This is the Swords of Jihad right here. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably nothing. It's on both sides. Yeah. Anyway, they're bringing it. You know who the man is, right? Obama. About a new race of beings being birthed within the human race. Bringing people together. And, and the performance we did last night at the Grammys was, and uh, and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth, uh, yeah. it's meant to signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race. And it's a race with, no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity. Yeah. That can I see or do I believe that something could happen any moment? <laughs> of course. Could happen today. So if you're not ready, you're not ready. Yeah, so I would be very, very circumspect is what I would be if I were you. I'd just be very ready at, at the ready you know, you got to give, you got to be ready to die. So that's it. So anyway, the only way to overcome death is through the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. He shed his blood and sacrificed his body so you could be set free. Um, if you haven't been turned upside down, and what I mean by that is, see, there's another race of beings here, and they're using us, a host body as a slave. And you have your own doppelganger, which is a good you and a bad you. And the, the race that's running us, uh, they turn everything upside down. You can't even see what's going on until you turn everything upside down. Once you do that, you'll see that other race of beings. You'll see they're the ones running the show here. And then you'll realize you're a slave. And then you can get set free. And you turn to Christ. Okay? Anyway, very simple. Yep, there it is, guys. God bless. I hope I hope you, you guys understand. We're, we're entering into some of the final hours of all this it's coming to an end we are entering into the end this is it it's coming god bless